some people say college isn't for them. Growing up from where I grew up from, in the west side of Indianapolis, it was bad area, heavily gang populated, drugs and all that. Most of my youth, my friends in the neighborhood, were getting locked up in jail. It's not easy out here finding jobs. I was quite worried. David didn't care about school. It was just like, whatever I could do to get by is what, he, what his mentality was. The biggest need that I see is support. Me looking for a mentor, it was like, I need somebody to keep me in check. I need somebody to look over me. Having that other person in your life that you know may not be a parent or a teacher that can you know help put give me give him that little that little push. But Courtney came in and he gave me more than that. He gave me almost like somewhat like a father figure. That's what he gave me because my father was never around. He knows what he wants out of life. Um, he's got a strong mother that really pushes him to do well. And I want them to do better than I did. I don't want to have to struggle, be my age, still trying to get a degree. And my school did have flyers out from the YMCA, YMCA this, YMCA that. And I saw college readiness. And I looked at it and I was like, I need that. I knew my mom would say I need that. So I picked it up and I actually went to the meeting. And then there I met Courtney Crawley. David uh, reminded me a lot of myself. I've never met a stranger. He has the same attitude. David stayed in trouble <laughs> a lot when he was younger. I was a troublemaker. My grades weren't the best, and basically I needed help at the right moment. I'm trying to make sure that, you know, he's he's prepared. Courtney was my human calendar. Um, let him know dates that are coming up as far as SATs, ACTs. He had my tasks organized, like FAFSA. A good time to start applying for schools. Make sure you apply early making sure he stays on top of his books and uh, finishes his senior strong. Graduating from high school was like, wow, this is surreal. You know, then to see, you know, all six, nine of them walk across that stage, you know, it, it, felt, it felt really good. In my family, I'm the first male to do anything since my uncle, which is back in the 60s. He's old. <laughs> the thing that, that sticks out the most to me was the day that uh, he received his uh, acceptance at Ball State. It was a Saturday. I remember I was out with my family and he called me about eight, nine o'clock. Came home, got some groceries out the, the trunk. I looked in the mailbox, I was like, that has to be from Ball State. It had a real big envelope. I was like, please let this be from Ball State. So I got inside and opened it. And then before I could even read the rest of the letter, it said, congratulations. You have been formally accepted into Ball State University. He fell to the floor. He started crying. I've been waiting for this for like two long years. And when they finally came in the February night, I was like, man. I was like, I have to call Courtney. I couldn't, I couldn't even get to my phone quick enough. I had to use my mama's phone. I was like, mama, give me a phone real quick, give me a phone. So I called him up. I was like, man, I did it, man. I made it. 8.39, I heard his mother in the background. And you know, he was telling me, man, I just, I just got my acceptance letter, thank you. You know, I knew his mother was very, very proud. I heard her in the background. And I started crying because then I knew he had got it accepted to the school he wanted to go to. It was a joyful night. It was tears of joy just pouring down my face. My mama, I seen the, the expression of my mama's face. She was like, I'm so proud of you. You know, when he told me I, I was the first person he called, you know, that made me feel like, wow, this kid really, is, he, he's excited, you know, to be the first person he called after that. That let me know, you know, exactly how I really felt about me. I mean, Courtney's great, man. I mean, the day of my graduation, he was there. The day my acceptance letter came in for B at Ball State, he was there. College, he's here. I mean, man, it's not going nowhere no time soon. You know, I'm I'm not one of his parents or anything like that, but you know, I feel like the relationship we've built, you know, I will always, you know, keep that. I never thought that I would develop that relationship to where he feels like part of my family. I mean, this man has kids of his own. He still treats me like one of his own. That's, that's wonderful, man, because I never thought I would be in that situation. Single mother, little sister, that's it. It's us three in the house. I accept Courtney into my family. That's how deep it is with us. I would suggest strongly that if someone is willing to help your child to allow them to do that, I really am grateful that he has taken the time out of his schedule and out of his life to make a difference in my child's life. It's making me speechless almost, but I mean, it's Courtney. This is all I can say. That's him. 
Uh, the David I met last June, July, is totally different from David I know now. I'm staying on top of my grades, being staying at the library, just trying to keep myself positive in a great environment.